Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I have finished my owl cushion cover and isn't it gorgeous? And the light, the flash has just come on, so I think you can just about catch all that twinkle from the AB in his eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. I think you can see. Let me see if I can lift it up without getting too much glare. Yeah, you can see all around here where all the ABs are, these yellow ABs absolutely wonderful really enjoyed doing this uh it's a timney arts and it's a 45 just double check yeah it's about 43 and a half centimeters that way which is 17 inches by 17 inches 43 and a half centimeters so yeah i would suggest putting a 40 by 40 uh, inch cushion in a, in this one which is probably what i'm going to do uh it the drills went down an absolute dream the pattern was really easy to follow as i was doing it uh lovely quality drills and just following the edges the edges are a little bit tacky i mean i will have to seal it anyway the only thing with these is you can't really wash them unless you're going to use a permanent fabric glue maybe i wonder if i put no because that might dull the sparkle something i'm going to have to think about for doing these because it would, just, would be a shame to have a cushion that you can't wash particularly you know as you can take the cushion in a out of it <laughs> as it were they have got a zip on the back here to get your cushion uh in a in and out <laughs> okay um yeah the only problem i found with this is the ridge where the zip has been put in and where you've got your seams there that was a little bit difficult to get your drills to lay flat in hindsight uh what i will probably do when i do my next ones i've also got the tiger and the hummingbird um, that are the same size again from Timney Arts is put possibly a piece of cardboard or a thin piece of wood or something um, you know plywood that's flat uh, so that you don't get you know the ridge as you're diamond painting it particularly where the zip was I kept having to move the zip around so I wasn't having to diamond paint on the zip it was quite difficult to put your drills down using that um, oh I've just got a spare one there look that's escaped let's get rid of that one <laughs> But yeah, it's lovely and I just think it's so cute. And this is like a plasticky uh, material. Uh, a bit like a tablecloth, I suppose. Like a, a thick linen plastic coated tablecloth. So that would easily wipe clean. It's just, as I say, if you put this in the washing machine, I think your sealer and your glue would melt and you'd just end up with a pile of drills. So it's something I'm going to look into. Um, I'm wondering what the ladies that have done the aprons, I know you can get uh, diamond painting aprons where you put a little um, a figure or something on the top of an apron. How do you wash those unless you just wash around the edges? I'll have to think about it. I suppose once it's sealed, you could just wipe it clean um, and then maybe just the uh, other side of your cushion, just maybe hand wash the other side, you know, just get one of those um, like upholstery cleaners that you would use in a car or something and maybe do that where's around everything i'm sure right so we're going to kit him down today um so I, we'll we'll keep him on the desk because i don't like looking at him <laughs> and i do want to do say a big shout out to billy the parrot uh, apparently i have a fan that is a parrot called billy so hello billy <laughs> That's just made Millie look up. She thinks I'm shouting her now as well. Um, and he likes to laugh along with me. So I hope he enjoys this. <laughs> it's nice to know that the animals like me. <laughs> so, yeah, that just uh, thank you to his mum for letting me know. But, yeah, Billy the parrot likes watching me or likes listening to me and laughing along with me. I hope you do too. Okay, so uh, this is my 18 lipstick container. Um, you maybe saw the unboxing that I did of the larger one. And as I say, when you're doing a smaller project, 
but it has quite a few drills. It's nice sometimes just to put them into the containers rather than keeping them in the bags. Um, I like to just have them a little bit more contained so I don't spill them. <laughs> They're all round apart from my ABs, which is that lovely yellow. And as you can see, I've got plenty of that AB left. And I don't know whether it was AB or not. No, it wasn't. It was just plain. Yeah, something I, I might do, take those out and put ABs in the centre of the eyes. But I didn't feel like his claws needed to be. So, but yeah, as it was for now, I've just done it as is and used the yellow. So we'll keep those separate because they'll have to go in my AB storage. But we'll get and put all these away. So what number are we starting at? That's 782. So we're starting down here at 310. I've muddled them all up a little bit, I think. Right, so we'll start at 310 and see where we go. I know that they won't fit in my 310s. So. Okay, so we have a box one. Come on down. Right, so, just trying to think where I last had my large bag of 310 rounds. Right, what I'm going to do with my 310s. Oh, let me grab a tray. <laughs> Don't want to be starting without a tray. Oh my goodness. Look, we've got a peep, a peeping owl looking at us through there. Oh, that was quite nice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the three tens into a little bag. Um, so that, oops, just get this open. I've got hand cream on my hands, so it's slipping. Right, back. Sorry about that. My camera tripod, uh, sorry, my camera uh, holder just decided to collapse on me for some bizarre reason um so i've just been attacked well by a snake they call um it's like one of those spirally snake things that you pull up and down and it just decided to attack me so i have just been attacked by a snake <laughs> i'll set me owl on you <laughs> right i'll put that little sticker on there okay oh dear me Fun and games, honestly, the things that happen in this house. Right, so we are on two, seven, eight, three. So there wasn't many colours in this one, um, but it's just pretty. I have started on uh, my tiger, but I must get my one done for my mum, the special drill project that I'm doing for my mum for Mother's Day. I must get that done because I've only got a couple of weeks to do that. Mm. And those couple of weeks will go really, really fast. Um, I'm listening out for the telephone as well because I'm waiting to find out if hubby is going to come home today or not. Um, I have said that if he is coming home, then I want to speak to a doctor first and I want to go through everything with them first um, because I'm not having a performance like we had last weekend. It is not fair on him. And it is not fair on me either. Uh, oh, we're definitely in a different order on this one. Oh, I will just push, maybe move those around, put that over there. That's better, 727. Seven. Yeah, I've just moved them around as I've been doing them. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can't do with last week's performance. It was just so upsetting. And I mean, he needs to get settled and needs to know. And it's, you know, nobody likes going into hospitals. They don't want to be going in and out. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I tried all afternoon, yesterday afternoon, um, to get somebody to call me back. I think I rang about quarter past one and uh, I just kept ringing and the phone just kept ringing and then ringing off because nobody was answering. And then eventually um, at 20 past five, um, this is after asking for a doctor to ring me, um, at quarter past one uh, a nurse rang me and i said oh, i wanted to speak to the doctor and she said oh well all the doctors finish at five <laughs> i don't know why i'm surprised i just well anyway i mean it's supposed to be ring us anytime ask us anything um anyway our assigned um cancer nurse rang us well rang me last night and we had a really good long chat about everything that's been going on um, and she was lovely, you know, and she couldn't apologise enough and uh, 
couldn't believe you know she's given me some different telephone numbers to try now if i can't get through um i've got some different ones to ring as well um and she just went through everything with me anyway so we've just heard as well that he might need some more chemo which uh, we're not quite sure why so again i'm waiting for a doctor to ring me back um and find out what's going on so yeah all good fun <laughs> Thank goodness for diamond painting was the cry. I don't get a lot of diamond painting done while he's in the hospital because I tend not to sleep very much. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I tend to be crossing them. Do, do, do with me. <laughs> Diamonds. <laughs> anyway, uh, Millie's had a good week. Um, she's having a bit of a, a standoff with Thomas now. Uh, he's uh, as I say she goes across well she goes out for a walk with our neighbour and then she goes across to his house to go and uh, go on cat patrol around his garden and yeah she <laughs> she keeps encountering Thomas he's decided he's claimed it as his garden she wants it as her garden so they both just stand and look at each other I think another couple of weeks and they're probably going to be um, more or less friends shall we say as long as he don't bring her a rat. I'm not having a bringing rats home. You know. It's like kids going out for playtime and bringing things home that they've found at school. You're like, oh, no, don't be bringing one of them. <laughs> okay, we want to be in box two. Let's grab box two. So, I hope everybody's doing okay. And uh, the weather is definitely starting to improve here. We're definitely starting to feel spring-like. Uh, I've ordered some more bird food. Uh, we have a, a company that I order through um, that we like their bird food. Uh, it's, it's a nice quality. And to be honest, it saves me having to lug it in and out of the car as well. Obviously, if you buy a bigger amount, then uh, it costs less. So, and I do like to feed the birds. And they'll be coming up to having all their lucky babies. So we do uh, put out, you can get, uh, you know, the little bird feeder things that you can get, the little square ones. You can put bits of like Millie's Fair um, and bits of, I don't know, fluff that you've got, obviously as clean as possible, um, and bits of wool and things like that. And they will come and take it off the feeder and use it for the nests, which is always quite sweet to see as well. Shall I put some hot pink wool out and then I'll know which are from my, which are the beds that have come to our garden. <laughs> yeah, I do like uh, looking after the beds. We do have a lot of beds as well around here. A lot of the smaller beds I don't tend to see quite so much. They tend to be more in the back garden. Um, but we've put some bird feeders in our front garden uh, for the uh, so that Hubby can see them. So, you know, it's quite good. If you, there's nothing on television, we can just sit and watch the birds out the window. Sometimes they're a lot more entertaining than the television. <laughs> Mind you, to be honest, some days that's not difficult. Um, three, oh, a three, three. Let's have a look, let's have a look. So we will see whether we, oh gosh, a few different colours in that one. We'll see whether Hubby comes home or not. So I want him home. I desperately want him home. But I want him home well so that he's not coming home and going straight back again. And it does confuse Millie. Albeit his uh, first, well, when he came home last week, um, Millie kept sort of like just laying there looking at him in the bed thinking, I'm sure I had a lot more room when you were here. Much as I love you, I do like more room in the bed. <laughs> Yeah, she she uh, does sleep with us. Um, I know some people that agree with them um, having animals in the bed. Oh, three, three, seven, one. They're not going to go in there, so I'll have to get another bag for that one. Just uh, let me grab a bag. And I think these will go to uh, the lady who does the hedgehog. The lady who does the hedgehog rescue because she uses the darker colours um, for making like little hedgehogs oh that one's on the top i'm thinking why is that not knocking out of there and it's because it's well it's on the bottom of the pot 
on the top as I was doing it. Um, yes, uh, she's asked for some darker coloured drills to make her hedgehogs. I'll put a little picture of the hedgehogs that she makes. Um, they're really cute. She's very clever. Um, you can see where they're going to. Okay. Not many to do today. Three seven. So I want the three sevens. And I want an eighty-two. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, my rounds aren't as nice and neat. They haven't got the big dividers in them, um, like my squares have. And they've still got my old black um design on as well. Black labels on. But uh, I may change them out, but I don't think I'll have enough room for the dividers because I've got a lot more of the rounds than I have the squares. So I do need that bit of extra room. I think the thickness of the dividers would take up too much room unless I get rid of some more of my rounds. Okay, let's get that one done on there. Um, what's three eight two three i have managed to get them all into one box though so i have just got the two boxes at the moment if i do get many more rounds then i am going to have to look at getting three boxes which i don't really want to do okay oh quite a lot of different colors in that one as well it's like a caramel color at the bottom there oh i could just eat some ice cream with some caramel on yum food oh, it's really difficult when you're on your own doing food um so i've got a lot of uh, food stocked up in the freezer you know i did a shop last week um with hubby coming home but uh i'm finding oh is that a, yeah that one's full and is that a spare one as well or is that a 3866 oh, that's 3865 let me put these in a better bag I will keep two bags of these because, well, I just do. <laughs> Maybe I should just use the bigger bag. Anyway, so, yeah, I find that a lot of the food I've got is like packs of two things, um, bigger like meat joints and bigger packs of things because it's for two of us. Um, and quite often if I cook at a... Um, a meal sometimes I'll do it so that it's you know well basically for four so it can last us a couple of days or I can freeze some of it so to suddenly um just be cooking for one again it's really strange it's a long long time since I've cooked from just myself so yeah it's very odd oh that's a better label let me put that label on instead because that's a bigger number and then I can uh, see that a bit easier <laughs> Okay, so now we have just got the ABs to put away. Yeah, it's very odd. Uh, quiet as well, being on your own. Start arguing with myself. <laughs> it's funny being right about everything. <laughs> Let me just pop these away. Right, so let's have a look at these ABs and see if this one matches up with any of these. Um, right, okay, so I think that matches up with that one. And unfortunately, I haven't got the number on that one. Although that does say 130. So I wonder if that is AB 130. Let me just leave that 130. I'm just going to cut that there. And I'm going to put 130 on this. Oh, well, it's ripped off anyway, she says. Um, and just put that there. And then if it is 130, then I can write it and do a proper label. But I just wonder if maybe, with it being Timney Arts, um, they are quite a largest company, I think. So possibly it could be AB 130. And then at least we've got another one numbered. But, uh, Yes, so rather than having lots of little bags. I do like it when my little system starts working. Uh, I will be doing quite a few cards um, and craft buddy items in the weeks to come. Uh, I will have some more de-kittings to come. 
uh, and that will be of special drills so i'll show you my special drill storage again but i, I do like seeing all those colors together it does it makes me happy to see all those colours. And as I say, if I do want one, I can see all my different shades as well. Okay, right. So that is now all empty and ready to go on my next project. They are going to my hedgehog lady. And I'm just waiting for my 40 by 40 cushion in her to come so I can use my owl oh, actually no I do need to seal him first so I'll be doing that shortly so just a quick day kit in today because there wasn't many colours to do and just a little update on hubby so and hello to Billy again Billy Billy <laughs> sorry if I've just driven him mad okay well if you've enjoyed this video a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you do want to come back and see what i get up to next and see my next project then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now